Paramner, this is Patia Tetunjian coming to you from Nicosia, Cyprus and I am here today to do a walking tour. Uh, it's a free walking tour tip based. I will include all the description, all the link in the description uh, in case you would be interested. I always like to start a new city tour with doing a walking tour with a local guide. I'm here at the meeting point. I arrived a little bit earlier by a little bit. I mean like 20 minutes earlier than what I was supposed to. And the meeting point happens to be in front of a church. And I think there is a wedding that they're preparing for in the background. So some nice vibes, listening to some good live music until the guide arrives here. The wedding is about to start. Do, 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 do. This is fun. So we're starting the tour with a little bit of background on the geopolitics of Cyprus. Um, so fun fact that I didn't know actually about is that Nicosia was not initially the um, capital. It was actually a very unimportant um, city in the country. Um, because it did not overlook the sea directly uh, and it wasn't even called Nicosia, it was called Led Ledria, Ledra um, and then later on um, it was appointed as the capital because it's not overlooking the sea and is um, harder to invade. So on the south side of the country, um, the population identifies as Greek when it comes to their ethnicity and Cypriot as their nationality. And this is why you see a lot of um, Greek flags everywhere and the language spoken is also Greek. So it's, yes, it's, so it's, it's, it's meant so to be crumbled like that. It's with honey and, and fruit. Honey and um, flour. It's and what's the name again? Uh, Pita de Sagis. Pita de Sagis. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Try. No, take, take it all, it's uh, layered. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, yeah, it's just very common. <laughs> so we're getting Cypriot snacks. Made with honey and dough. Oh, I'm also eating my hair. So we are now in the next to the Venetian walls. Um, these are kind of like the most important uh, I guess landmark of the city. The guide was telling us how I did not know this, that if you look at it from a satellite or like Google Maps, you will see that it's kind of shaped like a star, the entire wall area. And when the Ottomans came to invade, they actually broke down the walls and invaded the city. So the next big uh, part that he was explaining to us is that in August 18 of 1974, um, Turkey invaded um, Cyprus. And this is where the entire, like the green line, um, that exists currently with the North, North Cyprus, uh, Northern Cyprus separation. He was sharing um, the story of how his uh, parents actually were 10 years old when this occupation happened, the invasion happened, and they were forced deported to the su southern, southern side of Cyprus. Uh, one thing that he mentioned that it's important to not call that separation line border um, because the that part is not recognized as a separate country. So behind me over there, um, those are gates on the wall of the Venetian wall and they, these are the most important gates because apparently they used to connect um, this part of town to Fama Gusta which is now in the occupied side. Um, so that's why obviously the gates are closed um, but he said that's a very important city and that's why it's um, the most important gate. You know, I find it interesting. Um, I'm just gonna kind of slow down to be a little bit further from the group. Um, there are people in the group um, that just came from the occupied side, and the guide was trying to explain to us some of the churches that were converted into mosques on that side. Um, and if you guys have seen the episode I made on the Armenian community in Cyprus, um, there was also a church that was lost in that side so i was explaining how the church was turned into a mosque and they didn't understand they kept asking if there's a church next to the mosque or what does he mean and he kept repeating that no the church is now the mosque so and i'm glad that they came to the store to, to hear the story um from the guide and kind of put perspective on the, some of the things that they were seeing on the other side <laughs> On a lighter note, apparently um, Cyprus is the island of cats and it has more cats than people. I don't know about but I've been seeing a lot of cats. We're now on Ermo Street and uh, apparently the river of Cyprus before used to actually run under us. 
under this street. Uh, when the Venetians came and built the wall, they changed the course of the river to be surrounding the wall, so it's a little bit harder to invade. Uh, obviously, it's dry now, there's no water, but the river used to be under us here. So, Ermu Street. This is a nice street. I haven't been to this part of town yet, so this is cool to see. Buffer zone. It's, a, it's an area between the occupied zone and the, the area, the free zone, what we call the area of the Republic. So we just passed by the, um, the first power plant that was established, that was kind of built by the British. And uh, we turned around and there is an art exhibition I want to show you. This is a train wagon that used to go to um, the city of Famagusta. And under it, you see these numbers. I lost the group. Oh. Under it, the numbers, they represent the UN resolution numbers um, that are in favor of the separate uh, problem. They refer to this whole separation as a separate problem um, or the Cyprus problem. So these are the, number of the numbers of the resolution of the UN resolutions in favor of the problem. We are now at another buffer zone and here you see a cat sleeping on the buffer zone. So the guide was telling us that there are, I was mentioning earlier as well, that there are more cats than humans living on this island. There are about 900,000 humans and one and a half million cats. And he is saying that it's a very symbolic thing that the, the largest population, who are the cats, can roam freely. Um, over there you see the logo of a shop that is currently in the buffer zone and this neighborhood is very close to the buffer zone which is why it's it's very abandoned. One thing to note about Cyprus is that um, it is actually the safest country in the EU um, with a very very low crime rate and I personally as a solo female traveling to this country I felt that um, at night I can go walk around I haven't felt any kind of sense of danger or anything like that so this church is 150 years old and this entrance to the church with the Greek columns the Venetian um, lions and the Gothic architecture um, is a kind of a symbol of the um, history of Cyprus and all the civilizations that passed through here and brought their influences I believe there's another wedding in this church. Uh, the guide was saying that Saturdays are the day for weddings. <laughs> I can see right over there another buffer zone, uh, kind of the barrels. Guys, we're in Ledra Street now. Um, I made a video about my first impressions of Nicosia and the hotel I'm staying, which is near in this in this uh, on the street and I got a coffee from this place specifically um, Pieto and I accidentally ran into the green line um, also the amazing king of Lahmajun Avo is also on the street so during the walking tour we came here which makes me feel like okay yay I walked in the right place when I was walking with you guys aimlessly here is one more look and the green line is all the way to the other side of the street. Now we're walking outside of here. This is like the old part. I don't know if I've gone to that side yet. I think there's the Venetian walls over there. So let's see where the guide will take us. He said he's also going to be taking us to some uh, important Ar Armenian sites. So let's see. We left the old part of the town and we are now um, in Freedom Square, which was designed by the architect Zaha Hadid. Um, she passed away three years ago and she was apparently called the Queen of Curves and she loved water. And you'll see the curves and the water in the architecture here. That's the Venetian wall right behind it. There's the water on that side. And this bridge or the square that we're crossing right now, it's kind of like the symbol of meeting the old part of the town and the new, new part together. 
Um, so it's like a symbolic square. And over there at the top, you can see the old city hall of um, Nicosia. We're now walking on water. That's the tallest building in Nicosia. Apparently it has a name, it's called 360, I believe because it's the, it has windows 360 degrees. I think, I think so, I'm not sure. Mm, so much water, I love water too. So I, I'm liking this. Oh, look, closer look of the old city hall. With a uh, very Greek, Greek architecture with the columns. So behind us over there is the gate of Paphos um, and around there, oh, I just zoomed in on myself, around there is where Armenians, um, the Armenian quarter used to be and here now we are next to the wall that separates and behind the wall is actually the Armenian quarter that is currently in the occupied area. Uh, and I mentioned in, in the other video about the church that uh, was lost in that area, which is also right next to this wall, next to us. And we're still very um, close to the um, Paphos Gate. There is the Armenian Cemetery here, which is right kind of against the wall. So that's the other side over there where we saw the old Armenian uh, quarter. And this is the Armenian Cemetery. It's closed. So that's the Armenian quarter. We're looking at it from behind the fence. Uh, there's also the church behind there. And what does it say here on the wall? This wall is made out of tears. Wow. Yep. Thank you. It's glass. Yeah, I couldn't reach that fence, so I got help. Um, we are going to try to cross the line and go closer to the Armenian quarter. So I'm gonna go hide my camera. Maybe I'll see you guys on the other side. It worked. They let me cross to the other side. So we were right, let me show you. We were right over there behind the football field. And now we're in the old Armenian quarter. It feels pretty like weird being here. So I'm just gonna flip my camera and show you guys. So we're now going to the Armenian church, looking for it. It's all very beautiful, but it just needs entire vibe here is completely different. Yes, yes. Right on the other side. Wow. We were there before in public. No, there's a lock. It's closed. And you can't even see it. It's that white thing. You have to go on the right. Oh. Does it say anywhere? what it is mm. Armenian yeah. church there it is right behind the stable that's on the tire so unfortunately the gate is closed to the church so we can't go in 
but it does say on the outside that it's the oh, Armenian church here it says that too we can get closer okay we're gonna try to get closer oh my god Okay. Okay. I don't wanna. Wait, I'm gonna. Uh, okay, for safety reasons, we're not gonna go to the other side. But um, it was still nice to see the church here. I hope that one day I can actually come in and go inside. Um, with that being said, thank you so much for joining. Um, love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys very soon. We're gonna go back now and cross to the other side. Thank you, Tanner. Bye.